Welcome back. Pushing back on progressive practice, our next guest has a plan to make J.P. Morgan less woke. Writing in a Wall Street Journal op-ed, quote, left-wing activists have been harassing corporate America with demands for more diversity and inclusion. Why not take a page out of the left's playbook and drag companies back to the political middle? David, great to have you with us. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to be with you, Jackie, and I love the new show. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much. And for those who didn't read uh, your op-ed in the Wall Street Journal explaining as a J.P. Morgan uh, shareholder what you're proposing, why don't you walk us through what you have observed and what you're asking for? Right. Well, there's no question that there are concerns that many companies, and J.P. Morgan's one of them, are capitulating to some of the pressures from the progressive woke left. Now, I happen to believe that one of the things I have a right to do as a shareholder is inform company management that, lo and behold, there are other people out there than just progressives and far leftists that are pushing for, I think, really extreme ideas. I did not ask them to do anything compatible with the right. I didn't do anything. I didn't ask them to do anything that would meet my moral standards per se. We're just asking them to analyze if their practices of diversity are open to all political, religious points of view. Are they being discriminatory or not? We want them to do that analysis. We think that they'll be saddened by what they find if they do it, that they are cutting off business from certain conservatives or people of the Christian faith. That's not good for shareholders, and I have every right to expect that fiduciary treatment. David, I know the board of J.P. Morgan has recommended against what you're proposing. You're going to get a chance to make your case, which is fantastic. But you, you probably can guess it's likely to fail, given the board's perspective on this. But if it does, are you prepared to walk away from J.P. Morgan? In other words, is this sort of a Bud Light moment where you say, you know what, I don't like what's going on here. and I'm just going to choose to take my business, my investments elsewhere. I think that the Bud Light issue is categorically different, Brian, because Bud Light are consumers voting as to what products they want to consume. Where myself as a shareholder, I believe in J.P. Morgan as a business. I think they are a really good company. Therefore, rather than retreat, I want to engage. And I have a right to inform them, hey, did you know there are a whole lot of people in between California and New York that don't see the world the way AOC does? the way the Sierra Club does, the way other radical leftists do. And so I want to use the platform of being a shareholder not to retreat, but to engage. And even if we don't prevail in this vote, I think we've already succeeded in mm. engaging conversation with J.P. Morgan's management and letting them know that there is, in fact, this point of view and that there are people out there upset that they might be walking away from mm. their fiduciary duty. Big picture. Talk to us about proxy season and ESG. I think it's interesting that I was reading an article a, a week ago or so that there's going to be plenty of sort of ESG proposals on the table, but fewer of them may actually be passed this year. Uh, some of these firms, like some of these big asset managers, have already softened their language, indicating that they actually may be less willing to vote for some of these proposals. I took that from a Bloomberg article about a week ago. Uh, do, do you see that as sort of a shift in this overall narrative. I do. Amongst other things as well, I think a lot of corporate America is getting more pragmatic. For one thing, it doesn't look good for asset managers to have not owned energy the last couple of mm -hmm. years. And, and I say that as an asset manager who's looked pretty good because we have owned it. And so just the fact that energy's performed very well is really hurting some of the pharisaical hypocrisy of some of these people. But you're exactly right, Taylor. A lot of these things are starting to fail, and particularly where they're asking banks to not fund fund fossil fuel. That's a bridge too far, even for some of the left-leaning corporate executives at J.P. Morgan that say, look, we have to be able to fund mm -hmm. this oil and gas industry. And so there is pushback, but it's not enough. They have to hear from shareholders like us. They cannot believe that we're just a fringe group on Twitter. I want to use my platform as a meaningful shareholder at J.P. Morgan and a meaningful asset manager to press for more engagement and conversation with these C-suite teams.